Hello everybody, this is Steven Dutzman. I am the editor-in-chief of EngageFamilyGaming.com and I am here with my son Evan. He's behind the Hi. camera. Hi everybody. And this is going to be some off-screen play where we're going to show a game of Lucio Ball, which is the Overwatch celebration of the Summer Olympic Games. Um, there is a lot of throw like there's a there's a lot to say here as far as how similar this game is to Rocket League I think except for some of the physics stuff but here we go so the rules are you are Lucio but you can't use your gun you can punch which is his melee attack and you can use his other moves except for running and the idea is, it's simple. I mean, you're playing soccer. I mean, this is. So, um, here we go. We might have. Oh. Almost got a goal. Games are quick. It's one of the things I really like about this. Oh, nice save. Um, three on three, which is unique actually for Overwatch, because most of the games are five on five, oh, let's or, um, or six on six. And here you go. I mean, there are. I now, if you look at these cities like yellow pads. If you jump on, there we go, Ronald the Kid just going for us. Thanks, buddy. So what's interesting, if you jump while on one of the yellow pads, so you can see like right here or the, right in front of the goal or here, it gives you it gives you an accelerated jump. So you move faster, you jump higher. Um, obviously with Lucio, you do have the um, ability to you know, kind of temporarily increase your speed. Whoa. So, yeah, I mean, here we go. I am. Evan, first off, let's rather than talk about what I think, Evan, what do you think of this? I think it's amazing because. Really? It took a lot, plus it took a lot of programming to make this happen. Especially for what Overwatch was programmed for. Even, even though they took two years to program it, to even make the game, it still must have taken a lot of programming to program this. And I think that it's amazing that they went the extra mile to program Just for the Rio Olympics. Wow, that was a little bit out of control volume there towards the end. Um, as with both matches, as you get towards the end, things get a little intense. So, we lost. But that is me playing. Uh, so now we're actually going to swap. And the next game is actually going to be Evan. So here you go. And like I said, this is a little off-screen gameplay. Some of the similar program, you know, you, you, you choose who you want. Um, you know, you, you give votes to who you think was the MVP based on some of their stats, and then you earn experience. Um, all these experience points for the next couple of weeks are helping gain Olympics uh, themed loot packs. We've actually already opened four of those. You can actually see the pictures of what we opened on our Instagram account. You can find that by going to engagefamilygaming.com. Um, so Evan's going to head right on in and play some Lucio Ball. And so as you can see, I mean, you still have to wait for a game. However, the, you know, it, it, it's estimating that it's going to take like 12 seconds to get in. Um, my favorite part about this is that this is a, this is proof that 
Overwatch is not just a game. It's meant to be an online, um, not persistent world, but this is an online service that is continue to get some updates. It's going to get um, interesting activities. Uh, I mean, can't wait to see what they do for Christmas, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Um, Blizzard is no stranger to that type of activity. Um, I mean, they do it in World of Warcraft and in Hearthstone, so it's only a matter of time, I think. But this is uh, this gives me high hopes for what this game could be. Well done, F. The other guy got credit for the... Did, did you not help on that? No. I guess not. All right. You were a little far back. Um, I do like the replays in this game more than I like in the the actual game itself, just because you actually can very clearly see what you did wrong. Sometimes you didn't do anything wrong in the uh, in the real game; you just got beat. Um, but here, there's a lot of positioning, um, and you know, I'm a, I, I, I I like that kind of game. Um, it really is all about being in the right place, timing. Wow. Your goalie is terrible. Yeah, yeah. But what are you going to do, right? Like, this game is, this mode is, at this point, four days old. So nobody really knows what they're doing yet. Well, except for the first game I played where the other team had eight points to zero. All right, well, I mean, but they had one or two guys that were just really good. And you guys were all learning. So as you can see, Evan's back here playing a little bit of goalie. Which, as anyone who plays soccer knows, it seems easy until you actually do it. And yeah, you gotta be careful with that jump pad, because once you're in the air, you can't really control yourself. So the enemy team is in red. So pretty, and they're even outlined as such. So it's easy to see who's an opponent, um, even from far away. Um, I'm not sure what the little. Do we have we figured out what the little like dots are above heads? Like on your own guys? I that part I don't know. There's still a lot to learn about this in the game. Oh. Now, I'm pretty sure you just scored on your own net. Um. We'll see in a second. I mean, unfortunately, it is possible. Yeah. No. No. It. I mean, it definitely hit you and went into your own net. But, so that is, so we got about two minutes left. We're going to let this one play out just so everybody can kind of watch the game. Um, You know, I mean... Evan's 10, and he's holding his own. I mean, he's having some difficulties. I mean, there's no way around it. But largely, this is a new game mode. Um, and he's doing all right. I mean, as well as anybody else. Except for that crazy guy that had three goals last game. That guy was a machine. Now, if you see the... You saw the ultimate there... What's, what's interesting about uh, Lucio's ultimate in this is that it pulls the ball into the center, and you can use that to either get it to you so you can take a shot, or if you just get out of the way, it'll kind of pull it behind you, which is a fairly interesting way to um, score a goal or move the ball around. Do it. Come on, Ev. There you go, buddy. We got a we got a goal by at EF Miami. Now we see the replay. He's getting in good position. Nice. Used the ultimate. Got out of the way. I am, as you can tell, a critic, not a shoutcaster. They are obviously. There's a reason I don't do that. Um, but nonetheless, that was a pretty impressive goal. Way to use your ultimate correctly. Wow. 
Nice goal by your team, and you pull ahead. With 30 seconds to go. Again, one of the things I love about this is the fact that the games are so short. They are, um, you know, three minutes long. I mean, the time stops for replays, but those aren't very long. So you really are going to be able to, even without a lot of time, get a lot of games in. Which is, I mean, it helps, considering they're not worth a huge amount of experience. But, oh, here we go. And As got, you get more experience, the better you are, so you do, so really, the better you get and at it's it, gonna the more experience you're going to get. That's true. And here we go. Victory. Let's see if Evan got anything. Oh, he unplugged the controller. And let's see. Me peep. Got the play of the game. Was he on your team? I no, I think he was on the other team. He was their goal. Hey, at least the, goal, the play of the game is is now work is now is working in this. That's we, true. Because in normal, we do we do not get play of the game if you win, if you lose. Pretty much. Well, that's it, folks. That is our little bit of off-screen gameplay showing off the Lucio Ball mode in Overwatch. So, hope everybody enjoys the game. Hope you enjoyed watching us, me lose, and Evan win, because that's generally how it works around here. Um, and uh, enjoy the Olympics. We will uh, talk to you all soon. Bye now.